assume that this is the deceased and uh, i have him on the table and um, you know it has a you know the it has some coverings probably so the first thing what we do is and we we lay him down on the so by the way the qibla for the deceased you know or the, the living and the dead as prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is kaaba so we make sure that the the person is laid in such a way that the right side of his is facing uh, the the qibla the kaaba side so that's very we make it a point and then before starting ghusl we make give them make an intention of giving ghusl to the mayyit or the deceased to purify him and uh, to also uh, fulfill the obligation as well as uh, according to the sunnah and for the sake of allah so with those intentions and with those um, uh, you know the things that i mentioned before about no quranic recitation and those things we start off undoing the clothes so before undoing the clothes uh, i have brother tamim here so what we do is quickly we have two uh, towels we just lay down um, uh two towels uh, there's another one there as well so we make sure like i said the satar satar is the area between the navel and and below the knee so that area we make sure is covered all the time and so one vertically yeah yeah this one yeah so this way uh, one horizontally so we make sure the satar is covered and basically we undo the clothes what we do is basically unzip uh, if it is a hospital bag or it, um, any any kind of a thing what we do is unzip everything if you need we turn him on his left or right make sure each and everything is taken out of uh, the uh, of the deceased with the with the satar covered we also make it a point any kind of tubes you know tubings uh, we take the consent i mean we t- we t- ask the family members if they can take it out on our behalf because we are no experts here while doing this so that's why we tell if they are uh, in the hospital to take out all those tubes and stuff away uh, after after they have deceased the hospital uh, so we undo the clothes any kind of patches bed sores if if it is very hard to take it out we we'll, we we'll, we we'll let it stay there but any kind of a thing like a bandage or anything we make it a point to take it out with all this and one key thing is again when we have the satar covered whatever we do we make sure that we don't gaze at the private parts of the individual at no point of time all the time we have our gaze down and we start up with this and the first thing what we do like and this ghusl ghusl is washing this ghusl washing is very similar to our juma ghusl uh, that we give for our juma or any any kind of a ghusl that we give basically there are three parts to it you know the first thing we do is uh, before doing that the first thing we do is to uh, wash the private parts so the private parts and then any other area which is um it's which is which has filth we make it a point to clean all those first and that is exactly what we do even in juma ghusl and second thing is uh, the uh, wudu wudu is a second thing which we do and the third one is a body bath and and one key thing is we always start from the right and then do the left so these are the three major parts in a ghusl which is very similar to what we do with our ghusl for juma or any other ghusl so the first thing what we do is istinja is to wash the private parts assume that the the deceased is completely taken off the cloth it's just the satar himself and the satar covered the first thing we do is lift him up and uh, lift him up to the shoulder a bit and press his abdomen three times so this way the bowel uh, we put, uh, all the muscles on the bowel make sure that all impurities come out of the of the deceased so that's the first step before we start with istinja so for istinja the rule is we make it a point if you see there there are many small clothes like this where we tie wrap around we make it a point that the hand doesn't feel the private parts and and so we use small turkey towels like this and we soak it in water and we use soap as well and there are few brothers at least five or six around us to hold those towels up so he is holding one so he puts his hand down and make sure the front part of the of the private part is washed so we do this and throw away those towels we use as many as small towels are are needed to clean the private uh, on the front of the private part and also i make it a point to make sure that the groin area because these are the hard areas make sure that those areas are also uh, washed and cleaned until they find they feel good about about this now as soon as the top part and the and the groin is done we 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 tilt him or the deceased to the left 
so that the right side of the the private area from the back is is cleaned so you turn him you move the towels a bit to the other side so that you don't uh, are not able to see the private parts now you lift one of the leg here so you have some clearance so you reach out under the satar to wash the back side of the private part so we make sure we do that we again throw away as many uh, small clothes we need uh, throw away and the same thing he will come over this side or if i am on this side i make it a point to do it from the back side from this side so th this way both the front and also once the back side of the private part is cleaned up i make it a point also make sure that the lower back and other hard areas are also cleaned so at this point the first step after pressing the abdomen the istinja will be complete and in addition to that then before going to the second step which is the wudu we make we make it a point you know sometimes there are a lot of blood blood and other fluids coming out of the mouth and nose and stuff like that so we make it a point to use a cotton swab to just clean up all those nasal so we just take a um, so the brother here has a cotton so he will wet it up with the cotton and just clean up the nose uh, the left side of the nostril the right side of the nostril take out any blood or any of those that is there on the on the face the ears as well and sometimes uh, because of the rigor mortis you can't open the mouth wide so we also make it a point to just um, swab use a cotton swab to uh, wipe with the the lips as well and the teeth as well um, so those are the part of the istinja where the you know all the dirt is is uh, cleaned up so that's number 1 now comes uh, the wudu the second part uh, is the wudu so we um so we do, so we start with the right we just wash the palms the right palm three times and the left palm uh, three times the faraid of wudu is done basically the faraid of wudu is washing the face three times between ear lobe to ear lobe from the top to the bottom of the beard every nook and corner of the face three times then we do the right arm till the uh, so let's let's go and do it so so we're going to do uh, take water uh, and and if and we want to make sure the water doesn't go into the nostrils into the body so sometimes we cover the nose uh, with our um, uh, palm and then we make sure that uh, you know three times uh, the, the the face is uh, washed so that's the taking care of the wudu the face part which is the faraid and then we make sure uh the kilal of the fingers all the the fingers between the fingers are are washed three times uh, all the way to the elbow below the elbow of the right so always we start with the right and then we go to the left so we start at the face with the right and then we go to the the left side of the you know the hand all the way to the elbow three times and the water we use is lukewarm water so it's similar to what we take shower with we feel good about the water so we make it a point that it is a mixed hot and cold and so it is good for the so once that is done the massa massa of the head is done so we make sure the massa of the head is one time is enough for this so uh, and some people can also extend it to go all the way to the ears and finally we come to the to the leg uh, ankle we we again kill all of the fingers from the right so the sunna way is from the right side and you go all the way to the left side so you do the kill all of the fingers and also uh, wash the ankles three times and same thing with the right leg and same thing with the left leg so this basically completes the second part so after istinja we are then uh, with the uh, with the um, uh, yeah the third one is uh, we have to uh, so now if you want to change uh, before doing the wudu if this gets dirty we change them now we go to the final giving a bath all we do is three times water, water bath uh, we start uh, we before giving a bath we make sure we close the the nose and the ears we plug it in with the uh, with uh, the cotton we also uh, cover the the mouth and also the ears and then we start with the body bath the body bath basically is the right side you have uh, right side body bath uh, uh, three times and with the hand under the arms everything then we turn him around and and give a bath on the back side on the right side and then we do the same thing with the left and we complete the left so this basically and after this we press the abdomen once again the wudu is not necessary after that we do that again that completes and the last is with the camphor we have camphor is um, some kind of an aromatic uh, stuff that we put in the water and we we run run through him three times and that completes the ghusl all that is that completes the ghusl and basically what we use is some kind of a camphor here tablets we just crush them and put it in the water it gives that aromatic so this completes the 
uh, the washing and uh, we now dry up um, so so once we dry up we go to the uh, kafan so okay. so what we are going to do is you know like i said there are three piece of uh, clothes there is a big one there is a small one there is a small one mm-hmm. so so there are three big uh, there are going to be three big clothes not this one other one okay this is a big one okay so we lay out the bigger cloth so like i said this is an unstitched piece of cloth three three big cloths so we just lay out the the top one um and then we 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 have a, a, the the trouser part sorry trouser not one so you can see the slit here can you show the slit yeah. so if you see here basically there is a slit here and that's where the head is going to come this is the top part of the of the of the of the shirt and then you have the you have the the izar so I, i think we are almost done we'll just place the mannequin here and we'll just wrap him around just put it quickly that's it okay Yeah. so once it is dried up once we are dried up you know with the satar is still covered you know so you see here the head the shirt the top part of the shirt which is uh, you know the kameez that comes on top and at this point you know if there is ether we put the ether on the body as well and then we with the satar covered we can take out the two um, the two uh, turkey towels and we have changed the turkey towels couple of times you know, once it gets dirty so we have the satar still covered and the next one is the left side of the the izar is just wait right quickly two minutes so what we're going to do is just wrap around this put it on the leg and then we have the right side which goes on top so we have these two together and then the the outermost is the is the biggest one so beneath this there are three uh, tie ropes so basically we tie the leg side the mid section and the and the head side so with this said you know um we the, the the thing that i try to tell the family is what ha- what comes next is the three questions you know that 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 is that is asked in the cover in the burial and that is key and i tell all the family members to you know prepare themselves to be in a position to answer those three questions the mar rabbuka ma dinuka man nabiyuka this is the question asked in the burial at the in the burial by the munkar and nakir and so it's very important for us to say because our mouth is not going to speak it's our conviction on those things that's going to um because the life of the hereafter is from the burial you know from the once the person is buried that's when the life of the hereafter starts so i think that completes the wrapping and we show uh, the the face for the uh, the mehrams and then we tie them so there's a tie rope at the bottom we cover the the mid section the leg and the head so that completes